Okay, boys and girls, this project is a mixed media painting and collage, and it is inspired by Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night. So when I talk about mixed media, we're gonna use oil pastels, we're gonna use paint, and we're going to use paper. So we're not just using one medium, we're using a combination of different medias to mix it together to create this effect. And you can see, We've got a wonderful element of art going on here. Texture, lots and lots of texture. I'm going to put that to the side. You're actually going to start with a sheet of black paper. And when you get your drawing working for you, make sure that you put your name on the back for me. I'm going to give you oil pastels. I'm going to start with a purple. And we're going to start with the cypress tree on the left-hand side. Now as an easy example, if you want to do your cypress tree, it looks like a candle flame that goes up and down. It's got wavy sides to it. You can use your hand as a guide. Your hand's a lot smaller than mine, so I'm not gonna use mine, but I'm gonna show you how you could. If you put your hand, you used your finger, and you did your other finger, and went up, took it up like that, bring it down, and roughly you'd be tracing your hand. So you get this cypress tree effect. That's the sort of size of this tree and the, and the placing where Starry Night, where Vincent put his cypress tree. Take the oil pastel, start from the left side, just a little bit lower than halfway down. You're going to create a hill. Right, you're going to go up to there, stop because it goes behind the cypress tree. And it's a gradual rolling hill, it's not a roller coaster. So I've now got my horizon line. This is your horizon, this is the sky, and this is where the hills are and where your village is going to be with the little buildings. I'm going to ask you to do it again. You can make it a little bit more bumpy, so it looks more like hills, mountainous, rolling. If you want, you could add another one. I'm just going to add another one. You don't have to, but I'm going to make three lines. So I've really got something going on here. I'm happy with that. Next thing, I'm going to get my paint and I'm going to start with my sky. The very first thing that we need to do is get ourselves a square headed brush. It's a soft square headed brush and this is what it looks like. It's got a square head. We're going to get a selection of tempera paints and the first thing we need to paint in is the crescent moon. As we all know the crescent moon is in this position here and it looks like the letter C. So just paint your crescent moon. This is the very first thing you need to start with the paint. So it gives you a base as to where to take your sky from here onwards. You always need nice clean water. We're then going to do what's called a double loading painted technique. When I double load and I want to use white, I always use the white first. So I dip it into the white and then I go to another color. So I want to use the yellow still because when you look at the original painting, The Starry Night, you can see that it echoes, it's glowing, it's shimmering, and that's what we want to do. We're giving it what looks like a little kind of mosaic effect. So what do you see is I'm really printing. I'm going to go ahead. Don't worry about going off and onto the desk. I'm going to double load it again. Always dip it into the white first if you want to use that color. I'm going to go round and round and fill in anywhere that I didn't get. I'm going to wash it. I want to change my colour, but I still want to use white. So I'm going to dip into the white again. This time I'm going to dip into the blue. If you see, I don't wash my brush when I'm doing the double load. I wash it when I want to change the colour, but not if I'm going to put two colours together. Now you can see, now I've got this beautiful blue. I'm going to show you one that I started that's a little bit more pro progressed on. With the yellow and the white that I had, and you can use pale blues and whites, I started to spiral where the stars and sort of like the, the flow of the clouds. Once I've got that in place, I can then start double loading and using different colours and fill in more detail so that my whole sky is made up of these basically like a mosaic little tiles. And I'll give you selections of colours and it's your choice as to how you do it. Now I'm going to fill up very swiftly so you can see. I'm just going to get some colours here. How I do it. Okay, just nice and quickly. You're going to do a far better job than me. I'm just going to wash my brush. So I want to get some whites and that lovely turquoise blue again. So it sort of like echoes 
the style of Vincent van Gogh and I'm just going to do a navy blue going around so I've got that working like that so now you can see I've got lots of texture I'm just going to fill in that area there so make sure you get it all around the edges okay I'm going to stop it there now I'm going to go back to my paintbrush but this time I'm going to look at the hills I'm going to differentiate the style I'm not going to do it mosaic this time I'm going to get a little bit of white a little bit of dark green and I'm going to just pull it across okay just going to get more a little bit of white more green pull it across okay if I do it that side I need to make sure that I'm echoing that same color that side so it balances I'm going to wash my brush I'm going to get a little bit of white I'm going to try the turquoise blue with the white pull it across okay so it looks like the moonlight is shining down on those hills and I'm bringing it so, sort of like a soft curvy line wavy gentle and it's the hills but it's going the the way the landscape is rolling okay bring it across I'm not blending it too much I'm allowing the double loaded technique to do all the work for me so you can see you've got these blends of color I don't if I went and painted over it again I'll just get one flat color I don't want that and I'm just going to go with a darker green with less white and I'm going to go with a darker blue with less white and I'm just making it a little bit heavier you don't have to do that it's your choice and now I'm just going to lighten it up again okay so I get these variations of shades and tints okay so when something's darker it's a shade when you add white to it, it's a tint there's my landscape but I'm going to go back now to my oil pastels my old pastels I want to get sort of like oranges and browns and I'm going to do the cypress tree and I'm going to pull up I'm drawing wavy lines I'm starting with the orange first it's your choice which colors you want to make your cypress tree I like the way this one works because in Van Gogh's painting it's really like a dark dark chocolate brown okay I want to add a little bit of lightness to it I've got this nice brown because we've already got the dark working with the black background and I'm just pulling it waving up growing it from the base all the way up curling it up and because it's moonlight again it's your choice I'm just going to add sort of like white going through it it really does highlight that cypress tree it makes it stand out so really what I've used is three colors my trees finished there look at that now I'm going to go back to the painted landscape I know it's wet but take the oil pastel and just draw across take a blue or a green and just draw across you're adding more texture do it on the same side on the other side of the tree here just pull it across pull it across pull it across okay and there it's ready now for your little village your little village you are going to use colored paper so you get that final texture if you look here I'm going to give you a handout to show you how to make little houses that are looks like they're three-dimensional with a three-quarter view or just the simple way the simple way if I just cut I'm just going to cut a little square you can see this painted paper it's all textures I'm just going to make this a perfect little square so I'm going to put that square there and then what I want to do with a different color I'm going to cut a triangle I'm going to make it fit okay so before I put it on that triangle's way too big so I'm just going to go like this too big so I'm just going to nip it down a little bit more and if I want to make it just perfect there we are okay I've got my little house you can see I put three so if you can put two or three or even four depending on the size the body of the house the square with the roof have to be contrasting don't use the same colors you see how I've done it here and this one is the one that looks like the three-quarter view and I can help you do that what you're going to do is actually when you do a three-quarter view you cut a rectangle cut the angle off like that cut the angle off like that so you've got a slope and it's on a square and then we finish it off with another angle on this side too I'm going to pull this away so you can see what we're going to do at the very very end if you want to your choice is just with a black oil pastel just break up the horizon line 
and go over where you drew those lines originally. You can do it with a black, you can do it with a dark blue. I'm just going to go over mine a little bit more with a bit of a blue. So again I get that nice combination and texture. And you could even go around your little houses if you want to, just to make them stand out. That is your choice. I'm just going to try it on a little bit, just to see. I don't want to really do it on it all. And there you go boys and girls. There is your multimedia textured Starry Night inspired by Vincent van Gogh. Now it's your turn boys and girls, let's go make some art. <laughs>